Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1312 Minimum insertion steps to make up string palindrome. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, here I have taken the second example from the LeetCode website. So, we are given a string. We need to make this string a palindrome. So, to make this string as palindrome, I can only use the given characters in this string so i need to find the minimum number of insertion of characters in this particular string to make the string as palindrome right so i'm going to use dynamic programming approach to solve this problem so now we will see how we are going to do this so here i've created a dynamic programming array for the length of the characters that is five here so I have created a list of zero for the length of string, right? Then I will be writing two for loops. So where my first pointer starts from n minus two and reduces to zero. So I will run till my i pointer is zero, right? So the n minus two refers to the second to last index in the input string. So which is nothing but it represents the second to last character in the input string right so n minus 2 will be 3 right 5 is n minus 2 3 so it represents the character d the third index in my input string right so initially my i will start from 3 then i will be having a variable previous where i will initialize to 0 then i will write another for loop where I will run from i plus 1 to n. So my j will start from 4 to n, right? Then I will create a temporary variable. So where I will initialize the temp variable with the value of the jth index in the dynamic programming array. So jth index is 4. So I need to look the fourth index in my dynamic programming array. I will pick that value. I will initialize that to my temp variable that is zero right so now i need to check if my jth character and the ith character is same or not so i is three and j is four they are not equal if they are not equal i have separate rule here so i will take minimum between the jth index value in my dynamic programming array that is 0 then i will pick j minus 1 value that is 0 again then i will add 1 to it where i will be getting 1 i will place this 1 in the jth index in my dynamic programming array so here it becomes 1 now j is 4 right so in the jth index value i will replace with 1 so now I will initialize temp value as the previous value, right? After each and every iteration in the jth for loop. This will be the case here. So my previous becomes zero. Anyways, it is zero previously. So it doesn't matter here. So now we are done with the for loop. That means the second for loop. The jth for loop is done, right? 4, 2, 5 is done. We are not going to pick the fifth index, which is invalid. So we move on to the previous for loop, and this will reduce to 2 now. So i will become 2. Then I will initialize previous as 0. Then I will start my jth for loop from i plus 1 index to n. So it starts from 3 now. Then I will initialize temp variable with the jth index value in my dpra that is 0 so it will be 0 only right so now i need to check the ith character and the jth character whether they are equal or not no they are not equal right then i will pick the minimum between jth index value that is 0 we have 0 at the third index right then we pick the j minus 1 index value which is 0 again in the second index we have 0 then i will take minimum between these two 
which is 0 I will add 1 to it where I will place in the jth index now I will initialize the previous value as temp value which is 0 only then my j becomes 4 now so we are running the second for loop from 3 to n 3 to 5 right now j becomes 4 then I will initialize the temp variable as the jth index value which is 1 we have 1 at the fourth index right then I need to check the ith index value and the fourth index value both are not equal so I take minimum between jth value that is 1 and j minus 1 value which is 1 again then I take minimum between these two which will become 1 I will add 1 to it and I will place 2 in the jth index value in the fourth index then I will initialize the previous variable to temp so it becomes 1 now so we are done with the second for loop so we are going to the previous for loop and i reduces to 1 then I will initialize previous as 0 then j starts from 2 to n i plus 1 to n right then I will initialize the jth index value that is 0 as my temp value so now I need to check the ith index value and jth index value whether they are equal or not no they are not equal right so I will take minimum between jth index value 0 and j minus 1 value which is 0 again then I will take minimum between these two which will become 0 and then I will add 1 and I will place 1 in the second index that is the jth index so it becomes 1 here then I will place the then I will update my previous value then I will update my previous variable as the temp variable so previous becomes 0 so now my j increases to 3 again I need to check the ith index value and the jth index value that is the characters both are not equal I will pick the jth index value and j minus 1 index value which is 1 again I will take minimum between these two which will become 1 I will add 1 to it I will place the 2 in the jth index that is 3 right so I will place here 2 so when two characters are equal we will update the jth index as the previous value right so if we keep on doing this we will be having the minimum insertion steps to make a string palindrome value at the end of the dynamic programming array so we need to return that value so when the characters are equal we will not do any updations we don't have to insert anything right so we just replace with the previous value so when they are not equal so in that case we update the dynamic programming array with the minimum between the jth index and j minus 1 index values right that is what we are doing here so that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i'm taking the length of the input string as n then I'm creating the dynamic programming array with a list of zeros using the input length. Then I will run a for loop starting from n minus 2 value till 0. Then I'm initializing previous variable as 0 at the start. Then I will write another for loop where it starts from i plus 1 to n. And I'm initializing temp variable as the current jth index value right then i will check whether the current character j is equal to the second last character i if they are equal i don't have to make any insertions so i will just update the dynamic programming array that is the jth index value as the previous value itself i don't have to make any insertions here and if they are not equal then i need to make some insertions 
So in that case, I will take minimum between the jth value and j minus one index value in, from the dynamic programming array, and I will add one to it, and I will update that value in the jth index. Then I will initialize my previous variable as temp. Then finally, I will return the last value from my dynamic programming array. Right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. So the time complexity will be order of n square and space will be order of n. Right? Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.